It's Teresa from the Children's Museum of Sonoma County. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Wacky Wednesday. Let's see what we're up to today. Hi, I'm Amy from the Children's Museum of Sonoma County, and I'm trading places with Teresa today. So. We're going to do Wacky Wednesday for My Tiny House on Wheels. So for the month of July, we've been celebrating all things trains. Our books, story time books have been about trains. Our Wacky Wednesdays have been about trains. And today we are still continuing that trend. We're going to talk about steam and pressure because we still have locomotives that are run by steam. Did you hear that whistle? It's because the steam is under pressure and it's leaving through a small hole really quickly. But wait, how did the steam get created and how did it get under pressure? When you heat liquid, it eventually reaches a certain temperature called its boiling point. And at that point, it begins to make bubbles. Those bubbles rise to the surface and pop, releasing the gas inside them. The faster they pop, the more gas they release. In this pot, the gas is released to the air, but if it was an enclosed space, then that released air would build up pressure inside the container. And that pressure needs somewhere to go. You know what? I know how we can learn about pressure without using boiling water. We're going to do my absolute favorite activity to do at the museum. We're going to do fizzy rockets. Here are what you will need, the supplies you will need for fizzy rockets. You will need um, a container with, this has a little bit of water in it, some baking soda. This is just normal white vinegar. I just keep it in a cute jar and a film canister. So what you're gonna wanna do is make a paste out of this little bit of water and your baking soda. So you're just gonna pour some in and you want a pretty thick paste. So this is gonna take a little bit. You want it to be like this. Okay, first thing you wanna do is take a small pea size amount you know, like a green pea, so about that much, and you press it in to the lid. Actually press it in if you can. And then you're gonna put some white vinegar in your ca container, in the canister itself. I'm using a pipette, but if you pour carefully, you'll be fine. Then what you wanna do is you wanna snap, wait a minute, we have to do this outside. We are now outside, so let's follow the steps. We take a small pea size amount, like that, and we press it into the lid, like that. Then, I'm using a pipette, but you can pour it in. You pour some vinegar in. Okay. Then, you quickly put the lid on, make sure it snaps, and flip. Take two big, quick steps back. So how does steam and pressure make things work? Well, did you notice in our fizzy rockets, once the pressure built up, it released rather suddenly and almost violently, making them fly up in the air. But if you gave your container a release valve, kind of like in the tea kettle, you can control where that pressure goes. 
you can direct that steam, that pressure through special tubes, and that fast moving gas will push something called pistons, which will move and either they will create energy, like for a generator, or in their movement, they will turn a wheel like the one on a locomotive. See how the wheels are being turned by by levers? Those are being powered by the pistons inside the locomotive engine, and those pistons are powered by the steam. Have fun playing with your fizzy rockets. And if you think of other ways we can use steam and pressure to power or energize things, leave a note in the comment section for us. We're very interested in your creativity and ingenuity. And make sure to turn it, tune in next week for Wacky Wednesday when I may give it back to Teresa.